guy and is going to get them to agree to more of my offers, go ahead and knock yourself out. All right, these are shoe cobbler uh, form. That 35, how about? Say mata. No, I don't <laughs> What's say mata mean? Are you crazy? <laughs> I'm supposed to be able to make a living doing this, right? Yeah. All right, 35. All right. Thank you. Okay, thanks. thanks. The early negotiations are already tough, which makes me worry I'm not going to get my big ticket items. So, the spinning wheel. What I'm going to do with this piece is uh, that picture. Hey, you're both my great aunt. I'll blow up that picture of your great okay. aunt. Background. And it'll be in the background. Well, that's fabulous. This will sit in a shadow oh, box wonderful. on the wall with glass in front of it. That's oh, fabulous. That's, that's good. I'm finally thawing the ice with Barbara. But the spinning wheel is the moment of truth. I got to have this item. What would it take for you to part with that? Che pensi? Non so, mica, questo So what would it take for you to part with that? Che pensi? Non so, mica, questo veramente che pensi tu questo qua? Ah, think the um... 100 Say it. Cento, see. Si. Yeah, whatever that meant. Cento, oh, yeah, you yes. say si. Okay, that's a deal. I said a hundred, you said yes. <laughs> Apparently, C si means yes in Italian, and cento means a hundred. Yeah, he said a hundred. We know we're time. With the potential upside of this wheel, a hundred dollars is reasonable. But that's the last time I speak Italian when I'm negotiating. As we were going through the house, somebody was in the military. Both my uncles Thanks. doing World War II. Which brings me to this B-52 manual. This document contains information affecting the national defense of the United States. It's Your sister, classified. Yep, it's neat. Exactly. You know, I mean, there's not many people, I think, walking around with a Boeing B-52 bomber yes. manual. Right. Right. Would you take $50 for that? Look, I feel like this is such a piece of history, piece of history here that's leaving this house. I mean, would you take? Without that. With, with, Did with, you say without No, that? Let, me, let me hear what he says. Oh, first. OK, sorry. No, 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 I apologize. Go ahead. Uh, I got confused. My husband's Italian and English at the no, same time. No, that's time. OK. <laughs> I've been confused since we met. <laughs> Can we just think about it? Think about it. The B-52 manual is amazing, but i got to pick my battles. There's still some items here I need to make this trip worthwhile. You see the veneer that's coming off here? So in the condition that it's in, $150. $250, $250 at least. Oof. Because, I mean, restore could be up to $1,000, $1,400. When somebody tells me how much something's worth restored, they've done their homework. And Alfredo and Barbara are right. With the potential upside of 1000 bucks, 250 is a great deal. As they say in the South, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. After negotiating prices on a few other objects, including the school desk and the buckshot Bronco, I've spent just over $1,400, but there's still one item I want to bid on. This Windsor ice chest is awesome, and I would love to take this home. $500, and I'd let it go. Can I just phone a friend here for a second? Sure. Hey, hon, how are you? We're at the refrigerator, the last item. So this is the ice chest? $500, huh? No, that could be what this thing's worth restored. Tell them 200's the best we can do. 200 would be the best. Absolutely. 200 best, would be the best. How about 400 and that's the end of the story? 400 is, is the lo lowest they'll go. We can't do that. This is quickly turning into a standoff. I got to talk to Ricky alone if we're going to get any movement on this. All right, hon, we'll look. I'll call you back in a minute. Bye. Woo, after. she's tough. Hon, we're $200 apart right now, but I can turn this ice chest into something spectacular. Like what? If you pay $400, there's not going to be any profit left in it. All I'm saying is if we buy this, we'll double our money. You're making me a promise on this right now. Yes, 100%. Look, Jay's blown money on some trips in the past, but a promise from him is solid. If he says he'll make it up, he'll do it. All right, well, then on your promise, we'll do it. Bye. OK, we'll do $400 on the ice chest. One more thing I was going to add about this. I really appreciate you coming here and, and bringing a new breath of fresh air to this place. So the old military classified book, I will let you have that. All right. Guys, this has been fabulous. Thank right, you. Great. Enjoyed Hi. it very Thanks. much. Thank you. At the end of the day, we made some deals on a lot of great items at the Owens place, including the school desks and the good old buckshot Bronco. Despite the great buys, the thing that sticks out in my mind is the promise I made to Ricky. The pressure is on to transform this ice chest into something valuable. 
When I repurpose an item, I try to take advantage of the strengths of an object. And in the case of the ice chest, my alterations need to at least double the $400 I paid to Alfredo. Well, let's see it. Ready? I love it. You really did an awesome job. It looks a thousand times better. So, hun, it's not an ice chest anymore. It's an ice chest for cigars. Exactly. Very clever. It's a humidor. I use Spanish cedar on the inside to make it a humidor. Isn't that awesome? It's awesome. I love it. I mean, how much do people pay for a good humidor? And this I think like thousands of dollars. Good job? You did a really good job. All told, we spent about $1,800 on our trip to Mississippi. After $1,500 in refurbishment costs on the ice chest, I'm hoping we can bring in about $6,500 for all our items. But the deepest satisfaction comes from preserving a really unique object and giving it a new purpose and life. Let's celebrate. Honey, you smell that? What's that?